first person singular views expressed are those of the author. In 2016, Jerry Bodemar shared some of her concerns about the environment. The other day at a meeting of our Earth Democracy team, something happened to me. Eight women gathered to discuss how to help protect our commons, our water, air, soils, creatures, planet. We had a visitor from Maui who shared with us how Monsanto is polluting that paradise with pesticides and GMOs and how people of all kinds and races are coming together to stand up to those powerful corporations, taking them to court for their eco-crimes. We spoke of the huge subsidies paid to fossil fuel companies that then frack, pollute, and destroy our lands, air, waters, and climate. Then someone told us how the fracking companies are taking sand for that horrid practice from northern Wisconsin, a place much cherished for its natural beauty. Though I had never been there, my heart and eyes suddenly welled up in disbelief at the thought of raping yet another beautiful place, with too many already destroyed, all for the frackers amongst us. Have they no conscience, no love of beauty, no care for our one precious planet? Please, may they magically morph into sane, reverent beings. Jerry Bodemar gave us an update on the frac sand mining in Wisconsin. After it became the leading producer of frac sands in 2014, the competition rose so high that by 2020 many mines were closed. Now the inactive mines lead to various environmental and health risks. Jerry Bodemar feels blessed to be a part of the Wilp Earth Democracy Team.